generational curses. Oh, that's what got me on that tangent. Curses, yes. Uh, curses and hexes are, are simply informed fields that have been built and set out against you. If you, now each individual is, is his own master. We have the power by defying anything that we don't like. That it, that it won't that it just won't manifest it won't happen or we can or we can at least lessen the impact if you know you're cursed if you know you're hexed you need to create an informed field that neutralizes the informed field that's taken against you there's all kinds of ways to do that this is why people hire exorcists and all that it's got nothing to do with some preacher man being real real holy it's got nothing to do with some catholic priest having a holy cross that's exercised 101 demons in the past it's got nothing to do with that what it has everything to do with is that the simulacrum has already assumed that that priest is there for a reason and that he's done exorcisms in the past and the simulacrum which doesn't care either way the outcome only knows the expected outcome is that this person won't be afflicted by this evil spirit no more. Therefore, that person is not afflicted by the evil spirit no more. The simulacrum usually gives us what we're looking for. It's because we're normally looking for informed fields that we created without knowing we created them. That's how we build expectations. There's nothing, there's nothing dark about it. There's nothing bad about witches, sorcerers, all that. It's only, the only thing bad in this world is intent.